Hey senpai, it's your kohai, and today we're going to unbox one of my favorite ship waifus that I'm O2 in Azur Lane, okay? This is Prince Eugen, it's her 1 7 scale, manufactured by Alter. She has an MSRP of 41,580 yen, or approximately $362. Now, this figure is blowing up on my figure collection because her pre-order sold out really quick. So people are trying to sell her for like $600. So I'm really glad that I went ahead and got one of her pre-orders because she's going to be really hard to find. And now I can showcase her for you guys. So let's take a look at the box. The box comes in her color scheme, which is a nice design touch. In the front, there's a really big window, but you really can't see much, just her face. On the side, there's a few more of her design elements as well as a shadow version of her artwork. On the back, there are some prototype images. It doesn't really show you how she's suspended or anything, but it's kind of nice because when you open up the figure, you can compare them and see, did the figure turn out like the prototype images? Did it not? Maybe. There's also a little bit more of description, but it's in Japanese and I can't read it. On the other side, there's another close-up of her prototype image and another window. The box seems like it's made out of pretty sturdy cardboard, uh, so I guess we'll find out. Alright, here's the first layer of packaging. The cardboard held up really nicely, there's no tears in the corners, which makes me very happy. So here's the back packaging. You actually have to remove this first because there are some annoying metal twist ties you cannot get to unless you do this. <sighs> that was probably the worst experience I've ever had unboxing a figure. You think you find all of the tape and the metal twist ties it's like, but wait, there's more. So now that we finally got her out of the box, you see we got boat pieces one through four. You got Prince Eugen, she's looking fabulous. And you got three metal rods so that she's supported as well as her rigging piece. Let's get her assembled. Prince Eugen is looking sexy, she's looking cheeky, showing off a lot of thighs, some tasteful side boob. Now, I don't know a lot about boats, I'm not gonna lie. I do know that she is a German heavy cruiser, so I'm just like, hey girl, that's a nice boat you got there. You can bag it on up into this port anytime. <laughs> She is a little bit more wobbly than I would like. She's also very fragile. When assembling her, you need to be careful of these thin spike pieces, as well as you have to take off her head, and in many other figures, when you have to do this, her headpiece breaks off. So, I've been sitting here for a while now trying to find any paint flaws because there are a lot of opportunities for them. This is a very complicated figure. There are a lot of little pieces. Her coat has a lot of different little buttons, lines, different metallic pieces, some rigging, and none of those are smudged. They're all very clean. Her head pieces also have very clean lines. Her garters are painted on. I don't see any bleeding onto the thighs. The skin has a really nice color and it feels really good. I totally didn't just sit here and feel it for a little bit. All of the boat pieces have this nice metallic paint and a lot of really nice shading. Her hair is where you can see a little bit of the flaws. I like the color that they use. They used um, a silver paint as well as some purple shading to kind of bring that color out. But you can see a little bit of debris in there. But overall, the paint is almost flawless. As far as modeling goes, this figure is extremely complicated. On the boats, there's a lot of greebling from the rivets to the little towers to the mini ladders that I probably find cuter than they should be. There are different little vents here and on the back. The guns, although the guns don't move and I'm very disappointed because I want to play with the guns. I mean, who wouldn't? On the, the rigging back here, 
All of these pieces look like they were molded individually. You can see different screws. You can see wires on the rigging, these hydraulic arms, these hinge pieces, different wires coming out. As far as Prince Eugene goes, there's a lot of little detailing in her outfit. Everything from buttons to shoulder pads to the wrinkling and realism of her sleeves to her shoes and her leggings that look uncomfortable, but they have different metal pieces. Now, there are a few seams here and here on her leggings that you can see. There's a seam on her back that's hidden by her hair where her coat meets. The head pieces have nice little greebling here as well as what looks like a screw. Her hair on the back there were a lot of pieces added in, especially towards the pigtails. The only other thing I really have an issue with is that she's supposed to be pulling the glove off of her hand with her mouth. You can try to move her hand to get it into position. However, when they were modeling her glove, there's not enough coming off of her hand to really give you that impression. They did mold her lips to look 3D though, which is a really nice detail that not many figures have. Overall, the base is just made out of plastic. There are these kind of weird plastic nubs that are for support, uh, which I wish weren't there. They're cutting into the paint and kind of detracting from that detailing that they have on here with this nice metallic paint. They have the Iron Blood logo and her name. For this price point, I would have rather them have used an acrylic base. If they use an acrylic base, they might not have had to use these plastic nubs but I do appreciate that they have these metal support rods because I do think that she needs them. Overall, I would say that I actually like the figure better than the artwork. In the artwork, her expression is a little bit more blank. She's kind of playing coy, uh, but in the figure, she is a little bit more flirtatious. The eye placement on the figure is done really well. In the artwork, you can see below her hand, the rigging is, there's kind of just like a shadow. It's not very detailed, but in the figure, all of these pieces are modeled individually. So overall, I'd say congratulations to the 3D designer. They did a really great job. I do think this figure captures her personality. In the show, she's a little bit evil, and you get that presence here while maintaining the sexiness and flirtiness. There is a decent amount of lewdness to this figure. You can see the little mole on her breast. Her dress is riding up, exposing a lot of her thigh. There's a little bit of camel toe. The inner thigh is molded. Overall, I'm very impressed with this figure, so let's give it a score. The box is made out of fairly thick cardboard. It comes in her color scheme and there's a window where you can see the figure. However, you can't really see her face and it's exactly what I expect the average box to look like. So it gets a three out of five. The paint quality is practically immaculate, which is very impressive as there are a lot of opportunities to make mistakes. All the lines are very clean. There's a lot of nice detailing. There's a little bit of debris in the hair, but that could just be my figure. I don't think it overshadows it enough that we will dock at a point. So I'll give it a 10 out of 10. Modeling wise, this figure is extremely detailed. There's a lot of nice greebling on the boats and little details in her outfit as well as the rigging. However, it doesn't quite look like she's pulling the glove off her hand. There are a few seams in her leggings as well as on the back of her coat. And it's particularly bad in the pieces that are added back into her hair as they have gaps. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. For the base, it's about what an average base would look like. However, they did add a nice metallic paint, which I do appreciate. So I'm going to give it a six out of 10. Under artistry for art versus model, it doesn't look exactly like the artwork. However, I actually like it better. There's a lot of nice detailing and I like the 3D artist interpretation. So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. The pose is defined by the artwork. However, the composition still looks very dynamic and there's a lot of movement. Everything from the boats to her hair to the way she looks like she's floating, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Personality wise is definitely Prince Eugene. There's a little bit of an evil presence while still saying sexy and cute. So I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. The face is perfect, everything's positioned correctly, and I really appreciate the modeling of her lips, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. The original artist was going for more of a moe koi look, and it seems that the 3D artist was going for more of a lewd look, so it doesn't quite excel at either. However, I still find it very cute, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Moving on to value, the MSRP for this figure is 41,580 yen, and it weighs 654 grams. Therefore, the price per gram is 63.57, so it's going to get a 2 out of 5. Subjectively, I do see a lot of value in this figure considering the level of detail, the paint quality, and the current market demand. 
However, you definitely pay the altar tax for it and I would have felt more comfortable with an original MSRP of 35,000 yen. So I'm going to give it a four out of five. The boats are definitely accessories for this figure. However, you can't move the guns and I definitely think that that would have enhanced the displayability of this figure. You can really only display this figure from one angle, but she is small enough that you should be able to display her with other figures within a shelf. So I'm going to give her a three out of five. This brings the total for Alter's Prince Yujin to an 85 out of 100. Looking at the leaderboard, this puts Alter's Prince Yujin in second place behind the Rim Crystal dress. And honestly, I'm pretty disappointed about it. I thought that Prince Yujin was going to take first place. But looking at them side by side, there's definitely some things we can compare. What really got Prince Yujin was her value and her base. Looking at her base, we can see it's made out of a very thin, plasticky material. There's these really ugly supports here that are not befitting of a 41,000 yen figure. I would have really liked to see them use a thicker acrylic piece with the same design elements. It would have cleaned up the supports and really elevated the figure. However, we have to talk about value. Looking at these two figures side by side, I definitely think that Prince Yujin is the better figure due to her level of detail and paint quality. However, I don't know if I necessarily see 8,000 yen more value in Prince Yujin than Brim, and I think many others would agree. If your average person walked by and saw these two together, they would definitely think that Rim is the more expensive one. If Alter could have addressed the base and the value, Prince Yujin would have been a few points higher taking first place. And I hope in future figures they will, because if anyone can take first place, it's definitely Alter. Well, that's it for Alter's Prince Yujin. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. You can find all of our social media and a way of supporting the channel in the description below. Definitely comment your favorite ship waifu. Well, until next time, senpai. Bye!